Welcome to Baha Yogi TV. My name is Alex and today I'm going to be sharing with you six drills for healthy, happy hips. You are going to need a block for today's drills or at least one of them. So grab what you need and let's get started. For our first drill, come down to a lie on your back. Bend at your knees, ground both feet into your mat at about hip width distance. Seal the space of your lower back into your mat as well. Go ahead and bring your right thigh into your chest. Interlace your fingers behind your right thigh. Find a little bit of resistance as you draw the right thigh into the chest. Press the back of the thigh into the palms of the hands. On your inhale, extend your right leg up toward the ceiling. You can begin with just a point of the toes toward the ceiling, but work your way towards drawing the toes into the face as you press the heel up toward the ceiling. Say hello to your hamstring as you find this nice deep stretch. And on your exhale, slowly begin to bend to draw your heel in towards your hip. Good, inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Let's take three more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Last one. Inhale, extend. And exhale, bend. Good, slowly release. Root your right foot back down into your mat. Let's move over to the left side. Interlace your fingers behind your left thigh. Seal your lower back into the mat. Find that resistance as you press the thigh away from you and draw it in at the same time. On your inhale, extend the left leg up. Either point through the toes or draw the toes into your face as you press up through the heels. And then exhale, bend. Good, inhale, extend, exhale, bend. Three more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Good, release your left foot down to your mat. For our next drill, you can stay in the same position, but reach over for your block. Bring your block on the lowest setting to rest underneath your hips. As you do this drill more and more, you can adjust the settings of the block to make it a little bit higher, but it's always good just to start on the lowest drill to feel it out. Bring your right thigh into your chest, interlace your fingers to the front of your right shin, and then begin to extend your left leg out long. Now, I want you to find a strong tug of the right thigh into the chest, so much so that it begins to lift the left leg up off of the ground. I like to point through my toes for a little more of an elongated stretch, but continue to hug the right thigh in as you almost feel the separation between both legs. Good, you'll begin to feel a stretch to the top of the left thigh. Continue to find the extension as you reach out long and then hug the right thigh in. Now we'll work it into a switch, take a deep breath in. Exhale, release the right leg out long, bring the left thigh into your chest. Feel the stretch as you reach out long, point through the toes. Feel the stretch to the top of the right thigh. Hug the thigh into your chest. Breathe, deep breath in. Exhale, switch. Deep breath in, exhale, switch. Deep breath in, exhale, switch. And then one more 
deep breath in, exhale, switch. Good. Bring both thighs into the chest, ground the feet down to the floor, and then remove your block. For our third drill, we'll start from a seated position and then begin to open the legs, plant the feet a little bit wider than the hips. Either you can plant the palms behind the hips or reach the arms out in front of you. Sit up nice and tall, draw back through the shoulders, take a deep breath in on your exhale, begin to pivot your legs over to the right side. The torso is going to stay faced over the right shin. And we're going to create 90, 90 degree angles with both legs. So the front um, heel stacks over the back knee, back knee stacks over back heel. Take a deep breath in on your exhale, lift and fold it forward. As you fold forward, reach through the fingers, push back through the hips, press down through the right leg lift with the stomach, reach, find the resistance, continue to breathe. Good, slowly begin to walk it up. Tent your fingers to the front of your right shin, sit up tall and then we'll find five lifts of the back leg. Nice and slow and controlled. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Reach the arms out nice and slow. Pivot it through the center. Take it over to the left side. Find 90 degree angles with both legs. So remember, nice little bit of space here from the bottom of the heel to the top of the thigh. Find your stack, shift the torso to go over the left shin, reach out through the arms, deep breath in, exhale, lift, fold it forward, push back through the hips, reach through the fingers, root down through the front leg. Good. Slowly walk it up. Tent the fingers to the front of the shin. Five lifts back leg. Five, four, three, two, and one. Reach the arms out in front of you. Pivot it back to the center and release the hands. For our next drill, we'll start from this position with feet slightly wider than the hips. Hands come to rest behind the hips, fingers face, facing forward. Nice and slow, we'll find an internal rotation of the leg. So we'll bring the knee to the center. Alternate right to left. Make sure you take this movement slow and controlled. No need to overdo it. Just find the right range of motion for you. And then as you move deeper into it, you'll get deeper. Keep it moving. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. For our next drill, starting from the same position, slowly begin to reach out through the feet, find a wide legged seat. Before we begin, let's create our root. So heels root into the floor, toes point up, find active legs by pressing down through the quads. And then bring your hands behind your head, interlace your fingers. So the fingers and the palms are just resting here. They're not pulling down onto the head but just here for a little bit of extra support. Take a deep breath in on your exhale, slowly lift out of the seat, begin to fold forward as you hinge from the hips, 
And then remember to keep the legs active as you fold forward. Find the version of stretch that works for you. Maybe you can bring nose to touch to the floor. Slowly rise it up as you keep those legs active. And let's take it down for four more. Nice, slow and controlled all the way down nose to floor or wherever it takes you. Three more. Two more. And last time, this one for a hold. Wherever you are, find the hold. Five, four, press down through the quads. Three, two, and one. Rise it back up. Release the hands from the back of the head. For our last drill from our wide-legged seat, you can bring the feet into touch. Interlace the fingers around the toes, wrap in through the arms, lift up through the chest, drop back through the shoulders. Use the resistance of the feet pressing together to draw the knees down. And then we'll begin to implement tiny rocks of the knees. So gentle flutters of the knees. You can start it off nice and slow, and then as you begin to get more comfortable with it, you can pick up the tempo. But we still want to maintain the resistance of the feet pressing in towards each other. Sit it up nice and tall. Keep it going for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release, draw your knees together, and come back to a cross-legged seat.